Sandals have been my footwear of choice since January of 2014. I was searching for an all-terrain shoe that would be convenient to wear in and out of the water. I didn't want to bring two different pairs of shoes on my trip, I just wanted one. And these sandals proved to be the best choice. I buy them at lunasandals.com. I didn't have much money to spend, so I just bought the material for the soles and leather laces. Then I cut the soles out to the size of my feet. After the leather laces wore out, I replaced them with this paracord. A lot of people assume that wearing sandals is bad for your feet. It's true that the skin of your feet may take a beating if you run the way I do on dirt trails and through wet environments, but your feet also become stronger, a lot stronger. The skin thickens, the skeletal structure strengthens, the muscles and tendons become stronger too. It takes some time to get used to them, but then they feel great. When the laces wear out, I can quickly replace them with some inexpensive paracord. Paracord laces are very durable and comfortable to wear. These are my well-worn Luna sandals I bought over two years ago, but they still have a lot of miles left on them. When the original straps wore out, I replaced them with paracord. Here is the simple way I lace my sandals with paracord. First I use a knife to cut the existing laces and remove them. I then use the old paracord to measure off the same length and a little extra for the new laces. It's better to have more than not enough. Six feet or two meters is more than enough. At the end of the new paracord, I tie a simple double knot. The idea is to make the knot big enough that it can't pass through the hole between the toes and the sandal. Then I take the other end of the paracord and push it through the hole from the bottom of the sandal. This being the left foot sandal, I then take the paracord and insert it through the hole on the opposite side next to my heel. I'm using a knife to push the paracord through the hole, but it would be better to use a thin stick like a chopstick to avoid accidentally cutting myself or the material. I pull it through and then slip my foot into the sandal so I can lace the rest of it. Now, with my foot in the sandal, I pull the paracord under the first strap and then around the back of my heel. I carefully pass the paracord through the hole on the opposite side of my heel and pull it tight. Again, I then go under the heel strap and over my foot to the opposite side of the sandal, right below my small toe. Here I push the paracord through the top and pull it through the bottom of the sandal. then go under the previous strap and across to the opposite side of my foot and again through the hole, being careful not to cut myself. Once again I slip the paracord under the previous strap and across my foot to the opposite side and pass it under the heel strap.
Then I pull it around the front of my ankle and hook it around the other side of the heel strap. Almost finished, now I pull it snug and bring the paracord under and over the toe strap at the front of my foot. You can either cut the extra paracord off here or take it back around the heel strap and then return to the toe strap again. Firmly tie the end of the paracord to the toe strap and your sandal is ready to go. You can add an additional knot to make it more secure. Now here it is again as I lace my right sandal. sandals feel loose, they can easily be tightened by untying the final knot and pulling the paracord tighter beginning between the toes and then retying the end knot. And that's it!